Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today is the 5th of March. Now, I will be giving you a prediction reading, but first off, I just wanted to say to all my beautiful subscribers out there and people who watch me regularly and you know who you are, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your beautiful birthday wishes. You guys just made me feel so special, and it was just, it's, just lovely to get your beautiful kind words and um, all your beautiful wishes um, about having a great day. And look, I really did have a beautiful day. I um, went to a little winery um, and it was weird because we had it like all to ourselves. There was nobody there. It was really beautiful and it was surrounded by this big hedge, green hedge. I've got a photo, a couple of photos on fa my Facebook page if anyone wants to check those out. Had a beautiful water fountain feature in the middle, um, flowers, greenery. It was so peaceful and relaxing and it, we had like a picnic sort of um, cheese platter, small, like any pasto kind of thing and you could just pick and graze and oh we just had the most beautiful day it was great to catch up with the kids and it was just a beautiful day and the weather it rained the night before and then the weather came out beautiful autumn blue sky sunshine it was just a beautiful day so thank you again you guys made my day really special and i'm sending you the big hugs <laughs> from down under um <clears throat> so thank you again I'm still getting back to a lot of the comments, but I do really appreciate it because as a lot of us here now know, we have friends um, overseas. We lost a lot of our friends and family, and so you guys have become a bit like friends and family to me. Um, this channel, I hope it does help you guys. I know it can get a little crazy sometimes. Um, we get some very strange, if you're new here, we get some very strange analogies and visuals, but you got to kind of create pictures sometimes in your mind to sort of... Um, I, I guess get to the the meaning of things sometimes. Um, so we're quite visual here. And I know a lot of you guys out there are sensitive. A lot of you are Pisces as well, like me. We're real empaths and we're sensitive souls. I know heaps of you out there are very sensitive. And that's why a lot of these things have affected us so much over the last few years. Um, all the things that have gone on. Anyway, enough of me prattling on. If you are new, please subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll get started and we'll see what comes up for the 5th of March. Enough of my birthday uh, oh, excitement. I had such a lovely day. I really did, guys. It was really nice. Um, okay, let's see what we get for today. All right. <clears throat> God, I'm getting the chickens are hatching their eggs. The chickens are hatching their eggs. So if you think of chickens hatching their eggs, that means they're sitting on their eggs and they're warming them up and they're starting to hatch. The chickens are starting to hatch. Let me see what this is around. God, this is about the truth. I thought at first this might be about the government leaders, but this is about the truth. This is about us like planting seeds, um, spreading information, all these things that they've been sat on for a long time. This is what the guides are saying. The truth, um, oh God, all the lies. Everything's been sat on for a long time and it's been hidden. If you think of a chicken sitting on an egg, it's hidden. And then suddenly it all emerges. When the little chicks come out, it all emerges. And this is the truth coming out. Mm, yay! The, the truth is starting to emerge. Things are hatching. Oh, yeah, we know in UK, <laughs> it's certainly hatching around the 15-minute cities, isn't it? And that's starting to spread. There's movement. Um, if you think of a chicken coming out of the egg, you know, it takes a few minutes to wake up, but then it starts to run around. They're very active little chicks. If you heap, see a heap of chicks in a little, one of those little, heat pods or whatever they are they're all running around crazy aren't they so this is what's happening the information starting to spread it's starting to spread this sort of image i'm getting um all right yay god i'm getting the focus is about this is globally the focus is about to be on the lies oh the lies are being caught out now oh god we can only Fingers, we could only hope. Um, sorry, I just got to have some tea, guys. Um, the lies are starting to surface. See, they're starting to surface. They're bubbling up. Um, I always call them the bubbles of truth. But the um, 
like the boiling water and the bubbles pop once the truth is out, the truth is out. But this is about the lies are coming to the surface as well. Oh my God, um, they're being exposed. This is good, guys. Oh, the lies are starting to surface. Well, there's so many though. Oh my gosh. And the enormity, the lies are huge. They're not little lies. So I am getting that they're starting to surface now. I'm still getting whistleblowers. A lot of this will be exposed because of whistleblowers. And it's again, it gets back to people's conscience. It's things stay in their, on their conscience. They can't live with it anymore. They have to tell their truth. Um, we know a lot of people have been suppressed for a few years and were unable to tell their truth. Um, example, if you think of that Julian Assange, that was a classic example of someone trying to get truths out and being completely shut down and scaring the life out of anyone else who dare tell the truth or expose anything, which probably did work, I had to say. Um, but there's more people coming together and starting to tell their truth. See, they're coming together. I always talk about that here. The, the coming together. The coming together. Um, that's just what I'm getting. They're, they're not doing it singularly. They're doing it in groups of three or five that are all confirming their one story. And this could be in a lot of avenues. So I am getting that the lies are being popped this year. They need to be to expose the truth. Um, okay, hang on. God, I'm getting this. I'm getting this image of the global elites, <laughs> and it's showing me grumpy old men. I know there's a few women too, but grumpy old men. They're showing me them all getting grumpy and shirty. Like they're getting really shitty about all of this because it's not just going perfectly and they're getting, starting to get really annoyed. We know how much it annoys them when people stand up and fight back against government. They don't like it. So I am getting this movie of these, like if you've ever seen that movie, Grumpy Old Men, it's funny as, where they're having a real whinge and everything's all negative and they're getting all cranky and everything just annoys them and, well, this is starting to happen with these global elites. They're getting, you know, they're getting frustrated. Hello, it's probably good they have a term. We've been frustrated for three years. Um, so they're becoming like these irritated, grumpy old men because it's not going to perfection, which is what we want to hear. That's music to our ears, isn't it, guys? Um, their rollout, not going so well. All right. What did they honestly think would happen that people would just roll over and buy it, be steamroll it over and just do whatever they're told? I mean, I can understand why they might have got that thought with the jab wheel. It did seem to happen very bloody piss easy, didn't it? Like, people did roll over and... Anyway, enough of the jab wheel. <laughs> Let's continue. <clears throat> Getting Australia again. Yesterday I was talking about Australia and Elbow being lost in his dinghy um, out at sea. And now it feels like uh, Australia is becoming very disjointed. I feel like we're very disjointed in, um, how would you say it? It's like, it's like showing me like a cake and you cut it into segments, right? But they're all spread out. And they're just segments of the cake everywhere all over Australia. Sorry, I'm just going to have some tea. I've got, like, indigestion today. Sorry, guys. I'm feeling this, like, gurgling energy today. Mm. Maybe that's the lies coming to the surface now. Um, yes, yeah, so I feel like all the areas in Australia that are being dealt with, renewables, LGBTIQ, all these kind of areas of racism, you know, it goes on and on there. We know, all know about it globally, but it's not coming together. This is why Elbow's feeling like he's out of his depth and he's um, stuck on this little dinghy floating at sea lost. It's not coming together. He's not able to put the cake together, like the, the pieces of the cake aren't fitting to make it whole. So I'm getting that everything in Australia is still disjointed. It's all the segments, if you think of the triangles of a cake that's been cut, they're all over the place. It's not coming together. Um, it's it's too disjointed. And there is a lot going on in Australia. 
I keep telling you guys about the incredible um, youth crime that's like crazy out of control um, up in, especially in Queensland, where Palachuk, I call her, Anastasia Palachade, the Prime Minister, not Prime Minister, Premier up there. Um, she couldn't go visit, I don't think, Alice Springs and go and help these people and all this kind of stuff. But but she did manage, however, to get to the Harry Styles concert because somebody caught her and took a little sneaky peek of her at the Harry Styles concert. So it's good that she's got all her um, priorities right. So this is what we're getting. And this is being shoved in the little people's faces now. So basically, um, Palachuk doesn't give a rat's about all the little people and the people who are getting their homes invaded and the crime sprees and their cars stolen and destroyed and all this kind of thing. She's too busy going to concerts. Um, and see, we're not the only one seeing that. This is the kind of stuff, this is happening globally too, guys. It's the injustice. People are starting to see it. So everything in Australia is all disjointed. Gosh, it feels like that too, living here, honestly. I'm pretty lucky where I am in New South Wales. We have a premier called um, Perite, and he's actually really good. He, he's the only liberal one left though, all the rest are Labor. So he's coming to the boat soon, so I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm hoping he stays in because he's actually pretty flexible. Um, <clears throat> so people are seeing the injustice and Australia is very disjointed. That's why it feels like Elbow hasn't got that control and he's out of his depth. He can't get things to, he's not, he's not doing so well with getting his like reset to come together, the cake. He's no good at putting the cake back to, together. It's almost showing me like the cake is crumbling. And when the cake crumbles, you can't put it back together and make it look, perfect again because it's all in it's a, a mess basically oh this is sounding really positive down under here oh no all right let's see where else we go God, i'm getting england again i'm getting there's a lot happening over there I'm getting England's like forming its own stages, like a if you think of a stage, like a platform that you stand up on. I feel like there's a lot of this going on now. There's a lot of people up on stage talking about what's going on, sharing their knowledge. Now these could be seed planters like us, or these could be the people waking up, the sleepwalkers, people that are taking off their bubble denial suits. They're starting to speak out. I'm getting that megaphone again in England, surrounding areas, UK, the whole region, um, there's a lot of fight backs now and, and the people are getting their voices heard. They're up on the stage and see once someone who's awake starts to spread that information, guess what happens? Other people go home and research it. What's the reset? What are they talking about, Klaus Schwab? What's the WEF got to do with this? Who? What's the who? Why does the who want to control our health? These are the things people are spreading up on the stage, guys. Um, they're starting to be heard. They're starting to share the truth. It's not even us. It's the people waking up that are starting, who are discovering and finding out the real COVID agenda story um, and what lies beneath it. They're starting to find their voice. Oh, there's a lot happening, guys. Um, so they're also starting now to wake people up. So this is good. This is the old domino effect. It's starting to happen, guys. It's starting to knock others over and wake them up. All right, hang on a minute. Oh my God, it's so tiring. This has been the most, honestly, this has been the most ridiculous journey we've been through. It doesn't even feel real. We say that all the time here. But I'm, I'm feeling like, um, oh, what's it? Oh, I said that we're going to have some real turbulent times this year in 2023, and that's already starting to happen now. Um, it's starting to shake everybody up. The, the big shake-ups. We've been talking about the earthquakes and the shift energy and the vibration starting to change. Well, it's really starting to take off now. It's really amping up. We knew it was going to happen March, April. April, there's going to be tons going on. Oh, maybe not in Australia because, as I always say, they're a bit gutless down there. I watched that redacted actually this morning about the 15-minute cities and they even said that they were rolling them out in Melbourne. Oh, nothing like that on the news here. No talk about that even on any platforms. So there probably is and we're just not getting that information because Australians like pretty much do nothing. 
because all the all the um the Melbourne people pretty much that fought back during the lockdowns and all that, I think they all moved. They all moved to Queensland or somewhere else because they just had a gut full of dictator Dan down there. I wonder how his nice bronze statue's going. Oh God, I'll send you a pic if it ever <laughs> pops up anywhere. Um, I'll put that on my Facebook page because that'll be <laughs> worth having a look at, won't it? Because we just we won't believe our eyes when that sort of crap starts happening immortalizing them in bronze honestly um so that's what i'm getting it's going to be a turbulent year for everyone for everyone and i don't just mean financially uh, this is going to be a shocking year this is going to shock people people are going to be so shocked they are because they all thought it wasn't real and it is real we know it's real we know it's real on my channel i know it doesn't seem real mm. Um, all right, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> oh, giving me a song. They're giving me a song. I can't get it out of my head. It's like, come right back. I just can't bear it. Da da da, and I wanna share it. Come right back, and all but to be you. What's that old song? Come right back. Come right back. Ah, oh, I I'm just trying to work out what they're talking about here. Hang on a minute, guys. I think this is what they're saying with that song. God, it's an old song. I can't even think who sings it. It's not Bay City Rollers, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they're trying to, the, the government leaders are trying to get people to come right back into their narratives. You come right back. Come right back, just like you did with the jab wheel. Come right back and we'll steer you in the right direction. See, they're fooling people. Actually, ads keep popping up as well on my phone, guys, about the solar panel rebates. And they're making out it's all a big secret. That, but you can get a big discount. You can get $7,000 back if you put your solar panels on in Canberra, the ACT, um, <laughs> the capital of Australia. Yes, you get $7,000 back. <laughs> they probably tack it onto the price in the first place. So they're starting to release their packages here around the renewables. I'm sure you're all getting them. So I'm getting that come right back into our narrative is what the global leaders and all that are kind of saying that's what they want. They want them to just come right back like they were with the jab wheel, just being suckers and doing whatever they were told and being the good little children. That's what I'm getting, that ridiculous song. <laughs> I don't know where these songs come from. All right, let's keep going. God, I'm getting Germany. And they're showing me the guillotine. You know, when the guillotine drops down, it's a bit medieval, actually, way of killing someone and it drops down and chops their head off. I'm getting that guillotine. Someone's head's on the chopping block. Whether they're passing the buck, one of these leaders in Germany, and they're um, going to get the chop, it's the blame game. We know how it goes. But I do feel like somebody in high up there in Germany is has their head on the chopping block. Mm, we could only hope, couldn't we? But I am getting that guillotine dropping and someone's head on there ready to be chopped off. This is one of the leaders. Um, because, it, like I said, they pass the buck and they blame other people. Um, but I feel like someone's head's on the chopping block there. There might be some changes. I keep saying Germany's pushing back against the government really well. They're having a big impact and the government's having to really step up to the pressure. Like the pressure's becoming a lot. So they're really pushing that, like I said, the jail terms, that if you step out of line against government, there's going to be heavy fines. This all, all is kind of, the, well, the power, they're trying to use their power and force, um, not so much physically, but just threatening and fear. Um, to scare people from standing up. You know how it goes. We all know how it goes. Um, but someone's head's on the chopping block in that government. Oh, that would be good. I hope it's the reset leader. <laughs> all right, let's see where else we go to close with today. God, they're showing me Cotton Schwab and he's got like an 
a globe, you know, the round globe of the world and it's on the spinning axis and it rotates and you have it on your desktop. You can get those big ones. It's showing me Klaus and he's spinning the globe and then he's putting his finger on it and stopping like at a country. So he's picking at random. Um, well, this is just a visual that I'm getting. He's picking at random where to hit next with the next parts of the rollout. See, to him, when we think of someone doing that, it's just a big game. It's just a big game. Can you imagine how seriously Klaus must be feeling? Like, he must have the biggest ego. It'd be just like crazy big. His head would be so big. Everyone's just doing what he says. All these little muppets and puppets and it's nuts. But it's showing me him just randomly picking countries um, for the next part of the rollout. So there's still more coming. We keep talking about the iceberg here, but I do feel like now he's just doing this like, <laughs> I don't know how he's doing it, but he's just, it's showing me he just puts his finger on and stops the globe from spinning. And then he just lands on a country and goes, right, well, let's try that here. So he's just doing things at random now with his rollout because there's a lot more to come. We know there is. Um, it'll be shocking to many, but not shocking for us. If anything, we're just going to laugh at it again because it's going to sound so absurd that we're just going to be laughing at it. It's just more clown show for us and more entertainment and more laughs and more things we can take the mickey out of. But I am getting that, that he's trying to pick countries like at random for the next the next phase of the reset. Oh, God. They still haven't implemented the first part very well, have they? She's a bit rocky. <laughs> um, Hang on a minute. And it's showing him still in his office and it's this big, it, you've got to picture the office. It, this is in his mind. It's this big den kind of office with the dark walls, the big heavy um, mahogany furniture and the green sort of top on the the desk. And and he's, he's sipping like a glass of, what is it, like scotch or the rocks or something with all the, it's got the glass with the clinking ice cubes. And he's just sipping like the very little amount of scotch in the bottom. And he's just, he's all calm. Like they're kind of showing me that calm and in control. Um, because he's in his safe place, see. I mean, we're not, does any of us know where Cotton Schwab lives? Probably not. So he's pretty safe wherever he is. He feels confident. He feels safe. He feels in control. But I am getting that image. You see, because he feels like he's in charge of the world, which at the moment he pretty much is. He, he pretty much is. Um, so he's quite removed from it all, but he still feels like he's the one calling the shots. Um, so that's the image I'm getting. He, he's the, he's the, and there's no one even in the room with him. He's on his own. He's comfortable being up there on his own. He actually prefers it. He doesn't want, um, he doesn't want anyone on his level. He wants to be at the top, at the very top, the, the complete one in charge. Oh, God, my God. So that's the image I'm getting. He's happy to do this alone because he wants to be the one to call the decisions and make the decisions of everything, of everything. Um, and then he delegates, like he delegates to all the little <laughs> Muppets and puppets and plebs that work for him. And we know who all of them all of them are, including oh, those people are, including what's their name, bloody the <laughs> the German climate activist. Oh, Greta Thunberg, sorry. That's the one I was thinking. Who wrote her lovely book about climate? Yes, that'd be well worth reading, not. God, imagine what's in that. Imagine that'd be like an offshoot of the reset. Klaus has probably dictated it to her and she's <laughs> she's copied it all down and, and just put her name to the book. Oh, my God. It just gets crazier and crazier, this event, doesn't it, guys? I know you guys think the same thing. It's complete madness. Um, all right, let's see what there is to close with today. <clears throat> Oh, 
God, I'm getting that town crier again. Is that what they're called? Yeah. And they roll, they come out and they roll out their parchment or piece of paper and they they go, hear you, hear you. And I'm getting there's all these announcements coming. Um, not just in England, it's definitely in England when you're getting that visual of the town crier. Um, it's a very English kind of London, I'm getting that image. Um, but there's messages coming, there's messages coming. And, and it's always, this is what I'm getting. The reason they're doing this is because it's like, it's like the important people are announcing things to the unimportant people. Um, if you think about the town crier, like for example, in England, when the royals have a baby, um, the person comes out and announces they have a young son called <laughs> maybe Harry <laughs> or William either or, um, and they make this big announcement to the, the unimportant people just to let them know. So this is what I'm getting. There's a lot of announcements that are going to come out this year. That's why I'm getting that image of the town crier. This is globally, not just in England. You're going to get a few in England, especially around the coronation with Charles. Um, you're going to get a lot of announcements. Oh, this is globally. And they're going to talk to us like we're unimportant people. Because they see us as, I always call us, the little people and the peasants. So it's like they're always going to make these big announcements. Um, and it's going to be around so many things. It's going to be around, well, we know they'll keep changing the dates of the renewable goals. That's one of the big ones. They're always announcing, oh, we're going to do this by 2030. Oh, no, we're bringing it forward now to 2025. <clears throat> um, it's going to be every avenue, every avenue in our life. It is. It's going to be every avenue. They're going to make all these announcements. This year is the year of all the the town criers making their announcements. And they're going to be like the in-between people. If you think of the town crier, it's not the actual person that's giving the message. It's the mediator that's giving the message to try and soften the blow to the unimportant people, which is all of us and the people waking up, sleepwalkers. Um, <clears throat> there's going to be the mediator to try and soften it. So it doesn't sound so direct and so awful. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a few announcements around the interest rate rises and the cost of living prices going up. There'll be heaps of those. Interest rates are going to go up heaps yet, guys. Um, don't think that's going to change real quickly. Um, so that's what I'm getting. That's just to be that mediator to soften the blow. So we'll hear about it. Not through the main... Um, premiers and prime ministers and things. We're going to hear it by the, like, snail mail. <laughs> the snail mail. Um, we get it further down the line because we're the unimportant people. Um, but they do have to keep us in the loop, don't they? Even though we have no voice or say in anything, according to them. Um, so this is what's ahead for the year. A lot of announcements um, in all areas. No, and it'll never shock us. We just go, oh, yeah, righto. And we just don't take it on board, do we? All right, let's see if there's something to finalise for today. Guys are saying, I'm getting this image of us being the star of our own show. I often post a little video. I've made a few videos on being the star of your own show, meaning make your own decisions, stay in your truth and your own beliefs. And I'm getting that um, <clears throat> we're going to be a witness to a lot of change, a lot of things. Um, we're going to see a lot of changes this year, and we're going to see a lot of changes in people. We're going to see a lot of changes around. Oh, obviously the reset, but we're going to stay removed from it because we've chosen that path to stay out of all the nonsense, but we're going to start to see more people waking up. We're going to realize that they're starting to see the truth. They're going to say things to us. And, and the guides are also saying like, when someone starts to talk about things, don't say much, like zip your mouth up a little bit and just listen. Um, we always get that because if you bombard people too much with everything that you know, they close off again and they go back into denial. So this is really important moving forward. We're getting that message. Being the star of your own show means also being um, aware and being a really good listener. Um, it's very important. I've got videos as well on being good listeners because it's something that a lot of us have to practice. 
it's very easy to interject and want to tell people what you're thinking about but it's more important at this time during the awakening process that we become very good listeners and we listen to what people have to say even if we have the knowledge and even if we understand what's going on we just have to sometimes listen to their viewpoint because you've got to remember that's where they're at at the time um, I always talk about we're going to have this lag period where we're further ahead of them and they've still got to catch up. This is the people in the bubble denial suits, the sleepwalkers, people waking up. They've still got to catch up. They'll probably never catch up and I actually say that to you guys um, because we're much further down the road. Um, we're a long way down the road. Um, that's just what I'm getting. So really start to become really good listeners now. It's really crucial. And, and there's that saying, isn't there, a saying about if you're talking, you're not learning or you're not understanding. So oh, there's some sort of saying about that. So learning to be a good listener is really important for us this year. Um, that's how we remain being the sort of star of our own show because you think about it, they talk a lot about um, the life you're living you actually are the star of your own show. You don't want to be one of those background people that's just one of the extras in your own movie. You want to be the person who's um, in control of your own narrative moving forward. So that's why we're getting that. Just learn to be a good listener. Mm. Always good advice though that, I think. Um, all right, let me see if there's something to close with today. You know what they're like, giving me all the songs. I get all the jukebox songs till I grab one out. <laughs> <clears throat> that was the dirty dancing with Patrick Swazi the other day. I did laugh at that, I really did. They're giving me everything. They're giving me like reach out and I'm getting that Patrick Swazi where he's in the aerobics tights again. That So this is it. I'm getting all these songs. They give me so much music. I know you guys really love music. It's a really big part of our lives, isn't it? And music's very healing too. It can take us to that good feeling place. If you're new here, we get tons of music. Um, hang on a sec. Let me see what we get. Oh, they're giving me this old song. Oh, and this is for the sleepwalkers and the people waking up this year. I'm getting that song. They blinded me with science. Ee -ooh. Blinded me with science. Remember that song? It's all the hills. I think we've had that a long time ago here, guys. We have. We've had it before. But they blinded these people with science. Or well, they pretended to blind them with science. We know it wasn't the true science. It was the fake science by Fauci. Um, but I'm getting that song. They were blinded by science well pretend science so i'm getting that old song <laughs> they're in a like waistcoat being a scientist aren't they in the film clip so i'm getting that song they were blinded we know they were because they were taken into the mass psychosis and they were just blinded by all the science and the everything they were fed basically so i'm getting that old song blinded me with science oh <laughs> it's so old that song all right if you're young here you might not even know that song you'll have to do a youtube search on that Oh, I've got a new phone too, guys. Guess what I got for my birthday? iPhone 14. I'm right up to date. 14 plus, actually. So let me know if the sound's better and the um, picture might be clearer because I did drop my other phone a few times and it was a little bit smashed, so maybe that's why it wasn't so loud. <laughs> so I've upgraded. All right, hang on. Let me see what, if there's something for us today. <clears throat> Oh, I'm getting a beautiful song today and it's from the movie Ghost 
And we all know that Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. What's with Patrick Swayze? Is he coming through lately? Um, I'm getting that pottery scene, that beautiful song by Oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch. Is that the song? It is, isn't it? Alone, lonely times. Well, that's the song I'm getting for us today. We've had a lot of lonely times. And time goes by so slowly. Um, I'm just getting that song. It's a really beautiful song. That's just the song I'm getting today. But the, the image that the guides are giving me is it's not about, well, it is about love. We talk about love is very healing here with the dark energies and the forces um, that are trying to take over the globe, as we know. And love has that real power. That's why we get a lot of songs about love. But this song's about um, the image I'm getting is it's about the molding of the clay. You know how they mold the clay together and they're on the potter's wheel? Well, I'm getting this is about the creativity and what we're molding and how we're molding our life. And time goes by slowly. So we can um, slow as a snail with the waking up process, as we know here. But we're molding and creating our own way forward. And that's why I'm getting the potter's wheel because we're creating whatever we want. For example, the vase or the bowl or um, on the pottery wheel. And so I'm going to leave you with that song today. Keep being creative, guys, and creating the life that you want because it's very important moving forward um, to just keep following our passions, staying in the now and, and being creative. And that's why we're getting that song on the potter's wheel from the movie Ghost. It's a beautiful song. I want you to play that today. Um, all right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Um, thanks again for my beautiful birthday wishes. I hope my videos are helping you guys well. Hit those like buttons. You know it helps me heaps. And please comment. I get back to you. It might take me a day or two, but I do try to get back to everyone because you're all important to me. We've helped each other heaps on this channel to get through the stupid clown show circus event that we've all been living through. And I think there's still more to come. <laughs> no. So keep creating your, your pottery guys <laughs> and spinning that wheel <laughs> all right i'll say goodbye from australia take care everyone have a wonderful day i'll talk to you tomorrow bye